The truck's been sitting there for like a week, I guess. I'll see if she fires up. The battery is at what? Like nine volts. All right, so she fired. Thank God. Okay, so the batteries do hold a bit of a charge now. I guess me driving around kind of helped. Rock and roll. It does need a 195 degree thermostat and because it's not getting the temperature which is because the thermostat right now is stuck open and for some reason the shop did not fix this when it was taken in so maybe we'll just start taking this thing to a different shop but i can do the small stuff like thermostat and battery and whatever and ever nonsense else it has well if it started may as well take her for a rip eh why not back driving the truck at least I'll keep the battery charged. <laughs> We're trying to get them replaced. One of these days it'll happen. I swear. Maybe. Look at that fancy Ford. Oh, it's a Chevy. I kind of like the look of that, eh? Little street truck. Speaking of uh, Chevy, check out the chooch on this guy. No blown head gasket there. Nope. Oh my goodness. A little bit frosty, eh? Yeah, that's not even snow. That's just frost. Oh, I just missed it. There was a hummingbird on that stick and he was sitting still. You never see hummingbirds sitting still. It's pretty rare. It's such a... Wait, right, quiet. I'm trying to get the, the guy on the roof. The squirrel. Actually, on video, I can do this. I'm like, oh. It was so cute when it was just standing. Yeah, it was funny. You were just standing like a statue. Yeah. Funny, he's a goof. <laughs> Where's he going to go now? He gets nowhere. All right, that's enough squirrel watching for now. Um. All right, I saw a dude like how uh, he was recording these ice sounds from the salt. And it does work pretty damn quick. I've always just chucked it and never listened to it. Alrighty, so it does make little noises, whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Keep watching. Uh, I'm warm now, but whatever. Bye-bye.